So now in the Explorer, go to open file and in your data directory, you will see something known as supermarket. Open that. So now here is a classic data set which is around 4500 transactions of retail purchases. There are 217 different attributes or what we call as items. So you can actually look at different items and find out how many go through each ID label and say how many of them are actually present among both uh, among all the transactions. Let's say canned vegetables. They are present in 1577 which is around 33% right. So now what we will do is let us go to associate tab. So in the associate tab you see that there is a you can choose an algorithm it is a priori algorithm and close it in the a priori algorithm when you click you can discover what is the support you would like to look at what is the confidence you would like to look at let us say we're talking about minimum confidence as 0.9 which is metric of type confidence here and uh, let us look at let's assume we're looking at something like uh, 15 rules and then let us run this so what we're doing is we're trying to mine what are the most possible results in terms of combinations of the things which are bought. So here apparently the highest decision is for right hand side when you buy bread and cake. So that it is saying that it is overcome it is a sub it is beating all other things. So then it has found out different combinations on the left side with along with which bread and cake has been bought. So in some cases it's about biscuits, food, frozen, sorry, frozen foods, biscuits, fruit and they buy bread and cake. I think it's very natural, the kind of similar taste, uh, but uh, any, any surprises here? I don't see any surprises except one thing which is last one which is tissue paper, fruit, also getting bread and cake. That's a bit of a surprise, but otherwise I think frozen foods, fruit, baking needs, fruit, vegetables, biscuits, all of them leading to bread and cake sounds intuitive. But it is possible that there is a, some specific, uh, of course it's rule number 15, so it's not the highest confidence, but it's good to find out that even such a large data set, uh, there are such slightly unintuitive kind of rules which has been identified. No, no, it's not about everybody bought bread and cake. This is basically the among the highest uh, 
confidence thing these are typically bread and cake were the ones which have these rules i'm sure if you give 100 rules somewhere you'll get non bread and cake let's try that see that's why you have the tool here right let's try this let's say we want to output 100 rules let's say okay then start so that's why we have a tool you can work with it this is raw data that's the beauty of data science right you can discover patterns from data which earlier didn't expect so yeah looks like bread and cake is very dominant Maybe let's go and visualize the data. Oh, you can't because it's too heavy. Or what you can do is go to pre-process. You can go and edit. Of course, 4,000 elements eliminating is difficult. But let's go to bread and I'm trying to see if they're present in all the transactions. Yeah, kind of looks like bread and cake is very, very common. Yeah, it's very, very thick. It's very, very common so that's why we're expecting this results most of the rules which you generate are having bread and cake so let's see if we can increase the number of rules does it change anything doesn't right yeah that's what I'm saying so I think basic idea is we have to look at it from what are the most important uh, left hand side items with which bread and cake is being bought so we're not able to distinguish between but I think if you see from a transaction perspective the most important looks like biscuits frozen foods party snack foods cheese I think it's very intuitive when you buy bread and cake, the most common thing is. <clears throat> so let us see if there is any anomaly, means something which is not related to food. So one thing which I can find is tissue paper. This is what is a bit surprising in this case. Uh, if there is anything else, Any of you could discover any other margarine is something, but that's also related to bread. Frozen foods, milk cream, somebody said. Yeah, more or less, except the tissue paper, which is again coming in one more rule later. Uh, tissue paper is coming. I think <coughs> we're kind of. Ah, gravy packet but that's also okay we are talking about sauces right sauce is also
Yeah, so so that's a, it's a very interesting insight we're getting, right? We're talking about a breakfast uh, kind of data. We're seeing what are the things people buy along with uh, bread and cake. And our intuition is kind of satisfied because we are seeing that people are buying similar stuff. But you have to see that people are typically not worried about so many rules. They're looking at top, top 10 rules or top 20 rules they look at, that's all. Because it's not like they will be able to cater to 200 rules because that doesn't make sense. So it's very important for us that with the high confidence, what are the top rules which are at very high level of confidence. Here, even we can stop at, say, if you're talking about 0.93 itself, we can stop. We already have 25 rules there. So uh, this is a very classic example of how you can work with um, real data understand how you run your association rules and get your patterns and you may sometimes get off our factor right 